Hello and welcome to Commercial Failure, and today, I am very happy that this exists. Meet Ranj from Human House, inventor of the self-standing selfie broom. Alright, so this is not technically speaking an infomercial. It's a Kickstarter campaign that recently met its deadline without successfully funding. Let's find out why. We invented the selfie broom because we felt the everyday broom had become an everyday nuisance. Hang on, just making sure it actually falls down. And good. And not to mention thuds and dents. I love this part. Oh dear, I hope nobody saw that. That's what I get for trying to act cool. You won't have to lean your broom on a wall or bend to pick it up again and again. Damn, how long has she been cleaning? Her clothes are starting to fall apart. Simply by pulling up on the handle, the selfie broom stands on demand. Now, starting off, this doesn't seem like that stupid of a product, especially considering some of the other things we've seen. But just wait. And once you're ready to broom again... Did the narrator just say ready to broom again? And once you're ready to broom again... Uh, broom isn't a verb. Oh, and one more thing. Make sure you're sitting down. No, really. What's the point of a selfie broom if you can't take a selfie? Well, I guess then it would just be a broom. Yes, my friends, the selfie craze has reached the point where we even need to begin adding selfie features to our cleaning supplies. I bet Ronj thought he was an absolute genius for thinking of this. What do middle-aged housewives obsess over these days? Of course! Cleaning utensils and narcissism! Why stop there? Surely you can come up with other selfie products. Selfie shovel. Selfie rake. Selfie plunger. Selfie toilet snake. Anyway, this... No, let's keep going with this. Selfie vacuum. Selfie sledgehammer. Selfie wireless PC card. Selfie concrete tamper. And coming this fall, the selfie humane trap. But it doesn't stop there. You thought the selfie feature was bad? Well, it was. But they just keep on digging. Not only that, the selfie broom acts as both an alert and caution sign. Because notepads are just so inconvenient. Let's use a dustpan as a fucking whiteboard. That's not even a dry erase marker. That's a Crayola. I mean, I can see why these people needed the money if they didn't have any budget to put into the video. Again, Wait, showing your Why is there a bear? And Where do you look? Where are you going? Wait, stop, stop. Hold on. Okay, this last five seconds just went by so fast, I need to slow it down just to analyze it. Oh no, stock footage of a bear, but where the hell is it supposed to be? It's obviously outside, but look, snow, no snow, suburb, forest. And for that matter, what the hell is she looking at? I guess she's looking in the direction of the bear, which is somehow inside her house, but then you place up the warning sign and run back toward the bear. And finally, what the hell is going on with the post-it notes on her window? I feel like we caught her in the middle of solving some sort of conspiracy theory. Let's see here. 2, 5, remove the 0 from the 10 to get 1. Subtract the 2 from the 20 to get 18. There are 18 blue notes in two columns, so divide 18 by 2. And there are 7 yellow notes, and add the 4 remaining notes, and... <gasps> that bear did 9-11! And by the way, that's not a fucking selfie! It's just a picture. It's a picture of you taken with the camera. I see this shit everywhere on the internet. Just because it's you in the picture doesn't mean it's a selfie, because to everybody else, it's just a picture. A picture of a person. You have to have taken the photo yourself because you don't want to bother setting up a tripod or you don't have any friends. This is not a selfie. This is a selfie. And this is selfie taking a selfie. Get it right. Why is she bothering cleaning anyway? The entire house is already spotless. You know how people go, I want this house so clean I can see myself in it. Well, I can literally see her in the reflection. It doesn't even look like she's sweeping up. She's not even using a dustpan. Okay, there, there has to be something I'm missing here. She is such a scatterbrain. She can't focus on one thing for more than four seconds. Time to clean this patch of floor for the 30th time today. Oh wait, my soup needs stirring. This is how you broom, right? Just pull the dust into a pile in front of you? Oh well, time to check on Susie. No, wait, she looks too young to have a child named Susie. Time to check on little Aiden. To slips, trips, and falls. She just killed that baby. I know it's actually a doll, but look at the way she's holding it. We're supposed to think it's a real baby. This all makes sense now. This is a woman desperately coping with the fact that she killed her baby tripping over a broom. So now she spends every waking moment making sure everything is perfectly spotless. We establish she's a klutz, but this is the first time it's actually hurt someone else because of it. 
She can't ever make up for her mistakes, but she can make sure it never happens again. Clean. Never be clean. Must be made clean. New. This poor woman. There's no baby in that, is there? So yeah, I'd say I'm not really surprised why this Kickstarter never reached its goal, but it did make it halfway, and considering some of the stupid things that have gone into mass production, I really don't know what to think. At the very least, we got this hilariously stupid promo video from it. I think maybe they hoped the corny production value would make the video seem more charming than stupid and maybe get them some free publicity. After all, I'm talking about it now. But it didn't work out for them. I guess people just have bigger things to worry about than combining their tripods and cleaning utensils. I suppose there's hope for humanity after all. This is TZ, putting products in their place for you. If you have a commercial failure you'd like to see, send a message to commercial failure at testzero.net. Commercial failure is produced and hosted by Doug Hancocks. All work is copyright the respective owners and protected under fair use. Call now!